Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA and I'm standing alongside Phil Harris here before UFC Fight Night 30 this weekend in Manchester. Phil, great debut for you back in London and what's, what's it been like since then? The guy who came into the UFC won uh, in gym of one particularly. Have you noticed more people coming down to train, more people noticing you wanting, I don't know, just wanting more of you in general? Uh, yeah, it's not just, just me, the whole gym, everything's, um, gym's just picking up so well. We've got a lot of small guys in our gym, so everyone just, small guys, it's probably one of the best gyms in the country. So, yeah, we've had guys like Vaughan Lee come down, hopefully I think Brad Pickett's going to come down. Just, and not only that, just other smaller guys from local gyms are coming down just to either help me train or I can help them train, and yes, yeah, it's, it's going well down there. Speaking of coming down, Brad Pickett during the week hinted that he may be interested in a trip down to 125. How do you think that'll go for him? Yeah, I've heard that. Um, yeah, it'd be good to see him at 125. I think he's he's not the biggest bantamweight out there, so it'd be interesting. Yeah, I think he could uh, shake up the flyweight division, and he's such an entertaining guy. It'd be uh, interesting, definitely. The flyweight division isn't at its peak at the moment because it's only a new division. Do you think, especially in the UK, there's a lot of guys that can cut down from bantamweight or are already flyweights and they can get their shot that way? Uh, yeah, I think there's there's a handful. Uh, even in our gym, there's a few guys maybe not quite ready yet, but in the next year or two, they'll be knocking on the UFC's doors. Definitely, yeah. John Lineker has had trouble making uh, 125 before. Do you think? Have you heard any whispers this week? Is he okay for weight? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure he will make weight. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a problem. When it comes to, we'll say, years past. 125 it wasn't that common. You fought an Irishman, Neil Siri, before, and you've said it was one of your toughest fights. Do you think he'd, uh, how would he fare in the UFC? Uh, I think he'd do well. Um, he's done really well since since that fight. Um, that fight was a close decision. If if it was the other way round, I think he would still be he'd be standing here now. Is that is one of them sort of fights? He's cage warriors champion now. He's doing good things. Uh, he may get his shot if he's yeah if he's in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he's good enough to be here. Although he didn't have a great UFC one, Ulysses Gomez is undoubtedly one of the top 125 pounders in the world. Does that put you on your toes a little bit, knowing that two or three bad UFC fights and you can be gone regardless of your talent? Yeah, I mean, it's com common knowledge. If, if you don't make the grades, you, you, you get cut. Um, the UFC is the world's elite. So, yeah, if you're, not, if you're not competing or if you're on a losing streak, you'll get cut. You have to go and, go and get half a dozen wins and then you might come back, yeah. There's a few people that are touting John Lineker as a potential challenger for Demetrius Johnson if he gets a victory over you this Saturday night. Does that fuel you a little bit more knowing you can dethrone a potential number one contender? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I was due to fight him before um, and I got injured. So, And he, he'd won two on the spin, then he had another fight, so he's won three on the spin now. So he, he's, on a, he's on a good winning streak in the UFC. So it's, it's a great fight for me. And yeah, I think it'd get me even more well-known yeah, and people will start thinking, oh, this guy's a real deal. And in turn, do you think that should leapfrog you above him in the rankings, or would you be content to have a couple more fights before you set your eyes on Demetrius? Yeah, I, I think um, I need a few more fights before uh, I'm in the title contention slot. But um, yeah, it come, it's just time. And finally, any predictions for Saturday night? Uh, you, yeah, it's, it's definitely a win for me. Uh, I just see it as it's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be maybe second or third round. If not a decision, yeah, it's uh, going to be a tough fight. Excellent, Phil. We really appreciate it.